I just woke up so I put this sweater dress on. And I'm planning on going to a coffee shop today and getting some outfits that I need. I just finished getting ready. This is the finished makeup look. I just wanted to go to this clothing store. Um, and it's like a resale clothing store, so uh, I, I want to get into like reusing clothes. I don't know how to just reuse stuff that's still decent and it looks cute and it fits me. So I'm gonna go check out that store today and um, then probably just hit a coffee shop in the area. And I straightened my hair last night, so it's kind of like a, it's kind of like this messy, it has this like messy, wavy, straight look. So I'm just gonna leave it like that and my outfit. So I did, I got these jeans from Fashion Nova. I ordered them before winter and they took like four months to get here. So now they're summer jeans because I like them and I didn't get to wear them in the winter. And this top is from Akira. It's sparkly and it's a crop top and it just fits me super well. So yeah, this is a full outfit. And I'm just gonna throw on this jacket with it. Yeah, this is my new favorite jacket. It's pink and I got it at Forever 21. It's also a crop kind of. Yeah, it's a crop jacket. And I'm, I'm just wearing flip flops because I'm gonna be doing walking. So one more thing, this is the deodorant that I use, and you can just get it on Amazon. A lot of de like deodorants have like chemicals in it, and your armpits have like the biggest pores on your body. So essentially, if you use like a standard deodorant, it's just sucking up all of the chemicals into your body. And so this one has no aluminum. No parabens, no synthetic fragrance, no baking soda, no gluten. It's cruelty-free, vegan, plant-based packaging too. Yeah, I guess you could look up the ingredients and everything. But it's it's made with like tapioca starch, earth wax, dead sea salt, antioxidant salt. So yeah, okay, now, now we're gonna go. home after a long day of shopping I, that's what I ended up doing but I also like needed to go to certain places it's not just like I just went out to go buy clothes and stuff but uh, yeah now I'm eating first I ended up stopping at Target um, I needed to get a towel really and like I needed to return something actually I got these sheets them. They're like silky. And I got that candle from this. I got it from this cafe in West Loop called Matcha Sita. So they they do have like food there, but they also sold like candles. And I was like, that would look cute in there. That was the first stop. And then I was like, oh, maybe I can go to the resale like thrift store shop. That, that's where I ended up getting clothes. So I'm going to this thing in Florida and at the end of the, the whole event there's going to be like a ball gown or like a ballroom type party and everyone's going to be wearing gowns but it has to be brand colors, it has to be purple and I was like how am I going to find like a perfect fit, ball gown, floor length, purple, small dress and I, I literally, I walked into Buffalo Exchange and right there on the dress rack, the first dress was a small purple floor length gown. And I was like, I also purchased this reusable bag. So anytime I go shopping there again, it's just like I need to remember to bring the recycle bag because one, Chicago has bag tax, which is only like a dollar or something. But at the same time, they really just don't want you to use plastic. <laughs> bags all the time, which I get. So first, this cute cropped long sleeve shirt. These are super, these are fashionable. These are cute. And these are gonna go with all my outfits. I'm just really excited to wear these this summer. The dress. So the top is like floral lace. 
the inside, it literally comes with the bra attached in it. Okay, it zips up in the back, but like it's floor length. I need to do like a different type of video angle, but the bottom is just like this, like, I don't even know what kind of material this is. It almost looks like a curtain. It's like meshy. It's like a little see-through, but that's like the bottom part of it. The top is this like laziness. So after I'm done eating my chicken quesadilla, I'm going to try everything on. So I was, I put the shirt on and so there's, there's this like extra part right here, but it's like too long. So you go this way, but it's like, it's not obviously not supposed to hang. And so I looked at the tag. It's from this brand called like super down. Yeah. And I looked it up online and I like can't find the shirt. I like how the model's wearing it. But once I figure this out, I'm going to style all the outfits. So this top, uh, like the crossover part here is kind of weird and you can literally see my nipples right through the shirt so probably gonna have to put a bra on when i wear it but i kind of i i, I kind of understand why it was it was brought back to the store in new condition but i am gonna be able to pull it off this is the outfit that i would wear with this white crop top okay so we have the crop top um some basic jeans black accessories the jeans are, you could say the jeans are distressed a little. They got some rips here. And the shoes are these three inch, uh, like gray, white, kind of black tones. They, I got it, uh, I got them at Books and Bella. Next outfit, this is probably what I am gonna wear with these glasses. This is probably the best outfit that I have for these glasses, essentially. So I have this black crop on. Um, I spiced it up with some gold jewelry. And then we got these neon biker shorts. And the black bag still. This is my favorite bag and I don't really like switching bags. So probably gonna wear this with a lot of items. Oh, maybe I'll just fold it. Seems better, seems better. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Holding is not gonna work. All right, glasses, necklace, top, bottoms. They're very bright, and um, because I'll probably just wear like sneakers with this outfit, but I'm not putting those on right now. I'm not putting them on for video, actually. And then finally, my favorite buy and most exciting find of the day is the princess dress. And it fits around my chest area perfectly because of the built-in bra. And it rests like on the perfect part of my... What is it hanging? On the perfect part of my shoulders. It looks like there are flowers on my shoulders. There's like a slit in the middle. So when I, I need to find shoes that are really tall because it's like on the floor. I think that it just does that actually, so you can walk. Maybe, I don't know, this is my first like ball dress. So I think it might have the slit for like walking purposes. But my favorite part of it is just the top. So I'm back in my giant sweater dress again, because I'm just chilling in my silky sheets. Um, but I, I don't, I was just thinking like, today is like the first day in a really long time that I'm just like, I'm not like tired or I feel like I need to like lay in bed all day and I also like naturally got up early today. Normally I get up at like 12, 12.30 possibly and today I got up at like 9.30 so I was like oh I need to use this energy and that's why I like was out today but also I was so happy that I even went out today because I found this dress. It was perfect. It was the perfect coincidence ever. Since it's it's June, uh, um, I need to start a new like, like journal chapter because I I do it like monthly. So the one for uh, May, I like to go back to like read it. When I journal, it's like I turn into like a smarter version of myself because I'm able to really expand my full thoughts. But I can't do that every day with the little things. 
it, it really only comes out when you, when you sit down and like really write it out, I guess. I give myself like really smart advice. So one thing that I don't have is like, uh, it's like a gut instinct in a really bad situation. Uh, and so I'm trying to like see what that feels like. In when you have like a bad feeling, it happens in your stomach. So one thing I discovered is that when m my head, my brain is is conflicting with my heart, when they're on two, when they're trying to go two different directions, when they have two different decisions, and you can't come to a conclusion, you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's the right thing to do. I want to do this, but my heart's like, no, do this. And you can always like listen to your gut feeling. Because that's your body telling you what it wants. It's not your head thinking all, like, overthinking, all of that. And it's not your emotions being like, oh, we should do this because this feels good. Just start to listen to your body and see what it's telling you. Which is something that I guess I wanted to do, but it's, like, too hard. I'm still trying, but it's, like, it's honestly, it's too hard. And another thing that I wanted to try to do what I wrote like every day I will practice saying positive words to and about myself which is something that I kind of I kind of remembered but I still don't fully do another thing that helped me be more okay with like making mistakes or maybe I do try to do something and I mess up I don't even know where I I don't even know where I found this quote maybe it was in like a song that I listen to or like an article that I'm, I'm reading but I, I wrote it down and it says take risks in your life if you win you can lead if you lose you can guide so if you if you do become successful in whatever task or thing that you wanted to do then it's like oh you did it the right way so just keep keep on going and then it's like if you failed or you lost or you didn't do exactly what you wanted to do then you have this like gift from making a mistake that you can now tell and guide others i listen to mac miller like every single day in may like i normally listen to him but in may i guess it was like every it was like every single night and day oh this is cool okay so you know when you're like feeling bad or I don't know, you just don't feel good or like you're, emo you're in like a mood. It's like sometimes you don't know like what makes you feel better. But I just learned this. If you write down what to think about that makes you feel good, you can just look back at what you wrote and start thinking about it and then you'll feel better. I, I mean, I wrote about like a page for my, for my journaling in May, which... It's like a pretty good measurement or length of ideas that I, I want to like try to write down. So for June, I'm definitely going to try to make it like a page. It's just like really crazy like looking back at it just from like a month ago. I, I don't think you're going to understand how it feels unless you actually do it, but it's, it's kind of like incredible. The things that I really thought through on like a an, like an, an emotional basis and like solid advice for myself. So when it's like not advice from other people that it's like oh like you don't actually really know what I'm going through like so this advice is completely irrelevant. But when it's you giving yourself advice, that's a that's like a whole different level of truth. Cause you're like actually. I understand me and that's exactly what I need. <laughs> like, I, you guys need to just listen to yourself more. Cause nobody else knows like what you need and what you're going through and what you feel. I need water. I need water after this. This is, that was a lot of talking for me.